very humble man of God, very submissive, respectful, lovely, a disciplined person, and uh, encourager. But one thing that stands out clearly is his humility. He is not in competition with anyone, concentrating on his work, doing it in the best of his ability. He knew his work. I mean, he was the first uh, youngest uh, chairman. And the fact that I think he saw himself as uh, continuing in a particular tradition. And uh, he tried as much as possible to walk in the footsteps of the fathers, those that uh, had gone ahead of him. And he, he did that with uh, some characteristic simplicity and humility. I remember very well the message he preached at my sent off the, the first time we were being sent off into ministry. Come see my zeal for the Lord. From that time, I just grew to love him. And uh, he's a likable person. He's, he's somebody that is easy to be with, fun to be around, um, interesting to engage, and a uh, very brilliant person. He seems to have been created with a double brain. <laughs> a brain that is double, something above the, the ordinary. I mean, he writes fantastically. He speaks well. He's a master communicator. And as for his writing, incredible. So I really, he's somebody I really, really love. Apostle Dr. Michael Kwamna into Miss Ministry has been characterized with twists and turns. He witnessed four wars, two in northern Ghana, one in Ivory Coast, and one in Liberia. The Liberian crisis, the worst of them all. The outcome is his book, Flamingo, The Camp of No Return. When they were there, when the rebels branded up all Ghanaians, Nigerians, Sierra Leoneans, Guineans and Gambians and took us to a place called Flamingo Camp, 160 kilometers, miles away into the dense Nimba forest of Nimba County to a place called Flamingo Wanto Camp. We were about 2,800 people. The rebels would come and count people. One, two, three, four, five. With some, they just sprayed them to death. With others, they slaughtered them. On one occasion, they slaughtered people from a certain country. And they showed the blasted knives to some of us and said, you are the next. How would you feel? We prayed, we fasted, on and on and on. Then the rebel said, okay, there's no more food for you. We entered into the face of starvation. You could count the ribs of people. We decided to pray. We asked permission from the base commander who allowed us to gather on the field and pray. And one day during the service, there was a prophetic message that the Lord said he was going to take care of our food situation. He intervened and brought us food. Then the Lord promised again in another prophecy that he was going to deliver us. The Lord graciously delivered us from flaming gold. Strangely, without any known provocation, on 26th July 2006, he was attacked by unknown assailants on motorbikes. The end results can be found in his seventh book, struck down but not killed. During the presidency of John Ejekunkufo, Chairman Intumi was decorated with a national award, the highest of the land, Order of the Volta Companion Civil Division. As a Syria award winner, others include Honorary Doctorate of Divinity by Canada Christian College 2001, Lifetime Achievement Award by Kingdom Equip 2022, Star General of the Gospel by the Christian Awards Trust, a US-based Christian organization 2018, 
Henry King of Masai Land by the King of Ewiabu in Kenya, Henry Royal of the Musi Empire in Burkina Faso by His Royal Majesty Moglo Naba. Apostle Dr. Michael Kwabna in Tumi's ministry was not limited to the walls of the Church of Pentecost. The simplicity of the man really made him a great team player. As a matter of fact, he had great respect for all and sundry, every member of the council, regardless of the strength of your denomination, regardless of the numbers of within your denomination, he has respect for everybody. He treated everyone as equal and he made us feel part of the family of the council. And I must say that under his leadership, he brought dynamism and change within the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council. For the first time, under his leadership, there was a constitutional reform. Under his leadership, we introduced the first vice president position. He thought that was not there, but he realized that if he needed to bring the charismatics within the GPCC, the charismatics must be given a space because they have come of age. And so he mooted the idea, championed that idea, and that led to the reform of the constitution. When it comes to his spirituality, under his leadership, he made time that we introduced the need for a national retreat. Every year, the GPCC executives would go for a retreat, five days retreat, you know, outside Accra. He, under his leadership, introduced that. The essence was it brought us together, it brought the bond of fellowship together, and it was a very fantastic moment. I'm out, and the man, his sacrificial life, he will always be available as and when you need him. He was the first chairman of Church of Pentecost to actually break the ice, move to other non TOP member churches. I recall when we invited him for our national convention, he came on a Friday night to speak on our platform. Our members were thrilled when they heard the chairman of Church of Pentecost visiting our church. It was like, wow, this hasn't happened before. You know, in the history of COP as of 1998, for a chairman of the COP to visit a non-COP church, he was the man who really brought COP closer to the rest of the body of Christ. When he visited us on that day, we shared a border with the Church of Pentecost Tema District. So when he arrived, we told him, oh, look, the church across us is Church of Pentecost. Would you like to go and say hello to them? He said, no, I didn't come because of them. Though the chairman of Church of Pentecost, I didn't come because of them. I came because of you. I'm spending all my time with you with Full Gospel Church International. That was a thrill. You know, over the years, the perception has been COP has become like an island of their own. But this was the man who broke the myth, broke the ice, and brought the church closer to the rest of the body of Christ. He brought COP closer to the rest of the body of Christ. We will look at the man and his scholarship, his desire for, for, for knowledge, his desire to learn. He was always willing to pick ideas from us and we will exchange ideas together. He was always learning, open to learning. And it is because of him, he, he challenged all of us to add scholarship to our calling and our ministry. And so we enjoyed his time. We are talking about Apostle Michael and to me, this man and his sincerity, whereby he was really open to every member of the GPCC we are not unaware of the challenges that Apostle Dr. Ntumi and his family have been through. For him personally, his challenges have been inspiring, difficult as they have been. And I must say in all humility that it was a privilege for me to be able to visit him at least on two occasions during visits to Germany and I was simply inspired that my brother had translated his Christian faith into practical action and bore his challenges with such grace that I always leave his presence knowing that the Bible is true. A man sent from God to bear witness of the light of Christ. I met God's servant in 1980 
I had gotten saved and by the workings of the Holy Spirit I found myself in the original mission house in Tamale. Often Dickin and to me then will bring the tithes from his station or from his district assigned by his district pastor to come and pay the tithes to be forwarded to the head office. We struck an acquaintance because he was also one of the people who was very involved in Pensa. And so we began to fellowship and we enjoyed the company of one another. Time made us separate over a period and then we met whilst in Accra. We met at the Ghana Pentecostal Council then. Then, gradually, he became the president of the Ghana Pentecostal Council. In fact, he was the man God used to help change the name from Ghana Pentecostal Council to Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council. Until that time, every president of the Ghana Pentecostal Council would have to be from one of the four founding member churches, the president and the vice president. That is. Apostolic Church, Christ Apostolic Church, Assemblies of God, and Church of Pentecost. But Apostle and to me, seeing some of us on the council as charismatics, who were also helping to get things done, decided to fight to get the first vice president to come out of the charismatic movement. <laughs> when that happened, we had to vote on the people and then one who was supposed to be the first charismatic vice president on the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council. After the vote, by the grace of God, I emerged the man to take up that spot. Working with Apostle to me was a joy because he was a man that was a team player. He would listen to our views discuss it and finally we come to a conclusion. I remember one of the major things that during his time we were able to accomplish was when every year during the ban on drumming and dancing the some guys from the uh, Accra rascals who go into churches steal equipment, steal musical instruments etc. We, the Charismatics, insisted that it couldn't be so because our boys were getting uh, um, agitated and they were beginning to bring arms to church because they said they had contributed so much and they wouldn't allow anybody to come and steal uh, their musical equipment. And when Apostle and to me had it, he helped us to have a meeting with the Ghana Traditional Council and then later with the Minister of Defense. And out of that, we were able to come up with a, a memorandum of understanding which said that when there was the ban on drumming and dancing, we could preach in our churches, we could drum in our churches. It is open air crusades that we could not do for the one month. Apostle Michael and to me is a man of faith. With the things he has gone through over the years, and his commitment and dedication. Whilst he was president of the Ghana Pentecostal Council, he could walk, he could do everything by himself. But I, I met him when he had gone for a surgery uh, um, in France those days and was returning. Um, and he wasn't lugubrous. He wasn't sad. He was still excited talking the word, preaching the word, and then when he stepped down as president, he had this, where he had to sit in a wheelchair. Some would have had a pity party, some would have quit ministry, but this man kept working for God, and by the grace of God, became the research boss in Church of Pentecost. In Hebrews chapter 11, from the beginning we see testimonies 
of by faith this happened, by faith that happened. And then from verse 35, he starts telling us, by faith some were touched. By faith some were stoned. By faith some were beaten. By faith some lost their lives or gave up their lives. So when we talk about faith, it is not just a matter of receiving. It is a matter of trusting God till the end. And I'm glad to say, my dear friend, Apostle Michael and to me, has shown how to trust God when you are strong and when you are not all that strong. I said, on one casano, me name said in Yamisia Bono, and Shano so and Hano. Situation be a woman be an any gym. I dress a yummy woman. And to say you are the same be a bishia, Sonia, ni modem po or Yaminium, sir, because ran hospital, none in, sir. By a couple of years, man, and on a auditor book. Am I sorry? Eh, a young young yenia yen samim yen sir dunin yan ye nan yan ampo. A dear near to me, but on only situation yan no own waste a bribiera or the year bribia whom the bamfas were my sorry no nanny penna. Neither was he limited to the shores of Ghana. I certainly can remember those times when you have spoken so powerfully into the Elim movement over here in the UK. On one of those occasions, and for me it was the most poignant, was when I had just been elected to be the General Superintendent. And on that occasion, apart from great ministry from the Word of God, you brought a powerful prophecy. I don't think I've ever heard such a word from God in my life. And immediately I asked my staff to create a transcript of those words and they were with me for the 16 years in which I led the Elim movement. There have been many accolades of your achievements over the years, awards via the Church of Pentecost, uh, awards from secular parts of society and not least those given by the highest people in the land of Ghana, in the great country of Ghana. Um, they've been innumerable. You've touched so many people's lives. Millions of people have been impacted through your life, your ministry and your testimony. And through the books that you've written, the teaching that you have given. And frankly, I don't find a, any vocabulary adequate enough to express the, the appreciation that we have of you. I was always impressed with Michael's spirituality and his love and zeal for the Lord, for the Lord's work and for the Lord's people. Possel was always an encouragement to us as we shared life together. He has been an inspiration to many, myself included. I saw him as a man of integrity, a man of honesty and a man who never used his position to promote himself or his family. When he was posted to Germany, after his 10 year tenure as chairman, we were all looking forward to the next exploits of Michael and Martha, but the Lord had other plans. But even through those dark days, Michael's faith still shone brightly, and without grumbling or complaining, he forged himself a new ministry and continued to impact the church that he has served and loved. In my eyes, he is a spiritual giant who daily put God first. He didn't leave the house or receive visitors until he had first met with the Lord. I never heard him grumble or complain, and he was never demanding. He always made time for everyone and was always friendly and approachable. He never shied away when tough decisions had to be made. I never heard anyone have a bad word to say about Michael or Martha. For me, he is a man who is known by God and feared by the devil. Michael and Toomey has, over the years, 
immeasurably surpassed anything to which we have ever attained. But through it all, he remained and will remain one of our sons in the faith. We well remember the day in March 1991 when Michael and Martha and their family arrived back in Accra after their imprisonment and dreadful ordeal in Liberia. What a day of rejoicing that was for us personally and for the whole church. One of the things that has marked out Michael throughout his almost 40 years in ministry is his humility. In May 1998, on his way back to France, following his election as chairman of Church of Pentecost, he telephoned me. Unbeknown to Michael, the news of his election had already reached me. But Michael, being the humble man of God that he is, made no mention of what had happened at the council meeting. He just spoke in general terms about what had happened at the meetings and inquired about our welfare. Eventually, I remember I said to him, Michael, I believe you have something to tell me. And it was then and only then that he told me he was to be the next chairman of the Church of Pentecost. That has stayed with me over the many years as a mark of his humility, of his servanthood in whatever God had called him to do in his kingdom. Michael has lived out his ministry following the teachings of Jesus in Luke 17 and verse 10. When you have done everything you were told to do, you should say, we are an unworthy servants. We have only done our duty. Michael bears the mark of a true servant. Like his master, he came to serve and not to be served. Apostle into me rubbed shoulders with both the young and old. Papa, you be a Oyonya Minipa. Or did not who are doing in the BBA by year, Jumana. Sir, in fear, do no more. Sam ran a dear back when I make answer now in the internal flight to Ghana. Maybe if you bogger a back ra the same day as I'm called. Nanin, Nanin, who a Jumana home and a Junantia, a Vianantia. Enti a fear no, a dear on the two, so more hall. I just frame me and I echo, baby, be a minute and ninety year, be see in there. And Tinia make can I say, Papa dear, what by ye juma? O ye juma, what Pentacles in yena, or sign ye juma, Ghana Pentacles are cancelled that time, or sign ye juma, Bible Society. And T a ye giddy 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 giddy, Papa and ye and coop, say, or be ye a mubia, either say Pentacles are cancelled a juma, and I say Bible Society a juma. Nini na sone nyen kran ko a Ghana nyina e to da bia Easter ye ni Easter o Ghana ani Christmas ye ko eh Ivory Coast ye ko Togo ye ko Benin ni nyina e ye adwuma ye a na me hu se nyame so di adwuma no ho aho den e ma dada ntumi ma ni mfie du no nyina mu no nyame hwe no so ma otumi ye adwuma no se ne se ko si se o wie na adwuma Early in 2003, I happened to have chaired the committee to plan the anniversary, 10th anniversary for PENSA, um, then Accra Polytechnic, now Accra Technical University. In one of our meetings, we were tasked to reach out to the chairman of the church, Apostle Dr. Michael Intumi at the time. And we were wondering how we were going to reach out to him since we had never interacted with him. I picked up the church's calendar, picked up his phone number, and called him. It was exciting to find out that he picked the call himself uh, in his uh, baritone voice, Michael, to me here. Um, he picked the details of what we were going to do, the anniversary activities, all the speakers and everything. And then he intimated that for some reasons, by the time we we're going to have the anniversary, he will not be in town. Then we asked him for a message for the anniversary magazine. To our surprise, he quickly said, when do you want it? We, we gave him two weeks. He said, you have it Monday. I will not be in the office, but talk to my PA, Pastor Edouard Mankwa. And that, that was it. Monday morning, 
I called the um, apostle chairman and he said he had sent it to the office. We went to the office and the message was available. Then we got back to him and then told him we needed a picture. And in his characteristic uh, mood, he asked, do you want a Pentecostal picture or a formal picture? And then he left the picture, we went for it, we had a very good write-up from him. Um, this is to let everybody appreciate the humaneness and the accessibility of Apostle Dr. Michael Intumi. To think of the fact that he had never met any of us, we just picked the, uh, the, 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 the phone, called him, and he picked it gave us what we wanted, interacted with us, and uh, supported us the best way he could to make sure that the vestry came out very well. I said, I was Liberia, I was born in Liberia, I was born in Liberia, I was born in Liberia, I'm after his tenure of office as chairman, he was transferred to Germany as national head to the church. Unfortunately, this was the turning point. Hey, one more say, now you mean to say, Papa? Maybe draw onto me and sorry, and you know, and anti. Now, so you see it then, one way or the other, this thing came me say, Yen your ramp, Yen your disability ramp, be a Bema Obia said, You want to me and anti, and I say, Obia a war challenge, you know, a bit to me a fast with the other. Into me a year ramp, I buy. I just say, You did share, you didn't see him. And I'm the South Council, so my man for me private houses are me see a commercial place in Nano. With the lift, as you should see, a brand new Pabisano, obey to me as I say. Me can be a no quarry, a will crystal, a name, and a pentacles in a good point. I hear soon and say, Yamisha will share make a say, my brother boom, and she'll only fit here singing a free papa, cobna, into me, or small four, a so. One and maybe, yeah, but for the hour, tell you, now Miss Martin can say, me think a pass a man one million. On any day, they can be bought for their one million. Somebody knew 25 years ago, I said, I'm making it. He bought for their son, and I think I said, I'm a million. Ah, no, she will make a new penny. Now, I'm going to be a year, and then the pound crab begins, and me show it. And I'm a book, me can't go to papa. Me think I said, I'm one million. Me think I should take a ball to me, ball of friend, Miss Amy. Ball, ball. And I didn't need penny to buy for the dicker one million. Son was so soon. One in Shiren in our fifty years about, say, O B. I a Christo ni pa, what fun so him moi? What to me a gina pa? And me ni mobi, I don't know anyone yet, but the person that I know is Papa into me. My year to ma. In the thick of all the ups and downs, his wife, Lady Martha, into me, stands tall. Me by a minister, me twenty four years, not that you so. Uh, 25. Now, I have been only running 26 p.m. To the ministry, I think I think I need an antenna. Mission work, but we hope that Minister Kasia, the head minister, will really be able to find the brain. We share situation and come. Now, it may be a daddy situation. Now, my boy, my sister, will really say, really, for no one friend. Yeah, would you be dreaming? Say, we are near me. 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 We are
so we are the kind of na someone, the dear a team soon tea. Who said that beer no, it was in Vier, a mayor commands to try in him. Nanny, you matter, so, ma matter, or your bar papa, or ye lady, ya no friendly lady, ne fatal, so friendly lady, unprenable. And I send your apples into me, Etienne, or your neighbor be prepared. We will be busy as a ade. It's an answer, open nipper, and we'll do nipper, and we'll pack up. And to a bad year, hope was a into your neighbor, and so see you, was a Mrebia, what ya hope. No, yeah, Diane. Now, Uncle, who is said, my matter, Wemuna. And I name my year some styes be, or Gia Hawk War, or Tinne Nimenipa, and what Buano, sir, and to my year, or Mugi. And the man matter of Brenn was a pa, or Brenn was a, or ye lead the end when you be a, or ye petri petri, a pay we are sick, me pay we, me pay we, me pay we. Eh, and I said, the Nicolu, a yard, do any idea, didn't or tiny. Why, yeah, oh, ba, papa, ah, what tie in the chair? A bra, a brim, and a bra, a dim. Mamma, matter. Oh, you be a me bunupa. Nanny, a ban is a bra, a wovotano. On the sabre, no, your mudo don't know I overseas, dear masses. Just of mammy for no be or any bar, you will meet in us in any banner, hand no a chin is ready. No the knock up on to be or no a cobrim on a bet. Mammy, but me and Kai Colan woman, you ain't. A Colan who had you here, yeah. Bones or the now bonny book or no pier bonty and a mission. Ubi piano, no a cock rock, no a cassette, ya, no colana jasu, no a son. At the number. Every home a bonny pass on to say. Retiring as the director of literal works of the church, whilst in active service, former chairman Michael Kwabnain to me held a number of positions in and outside the church. President, Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council, 1998-2008. Vice President and President, Bible Society of Ghana, 2000 to 2008. Chancellor, Pentecost University College, 2003 to 2008. Member, Ghana AIDS Commission, 2003 to 2008. Minister of the Church of Pentecost since 1984. Missionary of the Church of Pentecost to Liberia, Ivory Coast, France, with oversight responsibility for Switzerland, 1988-1998. As at September 2023, Apostle Intumi had authored 16 books, two of them translated into French. He also co-edited 21 for the church, German Apostle Professor Opoku Onyina and Eric Kwabnanyamiche in his capacity as Director of Pentecost literary works, a position he held since 2013. It's been nearly 15 years of paralysis. Has this dilemma in any way changed the perception of the Intumi family and associates about God? Good things happen to bad people and then bad things also happen to good people. Uh, look at the Apostles in the Bible. Look at Jesus' disciples. When you read history a little bit, you see that all of them passed through so many things. And then also, um, Jesus himself, the Son of, of God, but see what he had to pass through. And then, some way, somehow, along the line, I understood that everybody has a cross to bear for the sake of the kingdom. Uh, so. I saw what happened to Daddy as, as his cross. It doesn't affect anything. It has been for sure the same thing that he had been assisting us. Uh, Apostle Timmy never turned his back towards the family. He's the first to call if there's any problem. You call my, my big brother. What can I do for you? Is there any problem in the family? And his contribution 
is terminus. Apostle Dr. Michael Ntumi has to his credit an ultra-modern public library with 22,000 books, a 50 computer digital segment of 153,000 e-books, 7,000 audio books, and 4,000 video books for his native home of Osramain. Apostle Intumi also sponsored the education of 45 brilliant yet financially challenged students up to the PhD and various levels of education. He believes in education, therefore he encouraged every child from in the family to attend school. In doing so, be able to have a lot of young doctors, male and female, we have lawyers, engineers, pharmacists, pastors, teachers, lecturers, a whole lot. And for his contribution towards his community, a street in Kitikrache is named after him. Apostle Dr. Michael Komnan to me meritoriously served the church for 39 years. Name a definition of who a true Christian is. Hey, one, O Christo Nipa, Nipa, Asemo Tunwa, Asemo Tunin, and I am on obeying. I can praise the Lord. O Christo Nipa, Papa, you be a when your opportunity to sin, he will not sin. Christo Nipa, when your opportunity to obey a bonnet, then so obey an agent say yes, you take me in yet. Napo soon to me. Yes, or how I would name Munina, yes, a physical Yarek Kakra or Femino. Who she need ye and an encouragement sometimes on a Kasakra or no Mumushi Unkunai, na a Bibia, a Hansi Shiapa. How can I blame God or complain or tell him he disappointed me? When in every situation, I simply ask him, Lord, what do you want me to do? I, I, I thank him. Uh -huh. I only ask him for grace uh -huh. day by day as I go through various difficulties and challenges associated with paralysis. Mm -hmm. But to say God has disappointed me or let me down, never, never. If for any reason or reasons you have doubts about the power of God to sustain his own, let the life and ministry of Apostle Dr. Michael Kwabnantumi, the fourth chairman of the Church of Pentecost, speak to you. And know that God is a winner and no matter what, you will win if and only if you put your faith into positive motion. To receive a victory. Granted in Jesus' name. Granted in Jesus' name. We have overcome. We have overcome. See the victory. See, See the victory. Granted in Jesus' name. Granted in Jesus' name. We have overcome. We have overcome. Sing, sing, sing.